So the devil's working hard this week. Keep me out of Nacogdoches, Texas. But I guarantee you one thing. A broken arm ain't going to stop me. I will be back. But until then, like Zoe said, here's some more scenarios. Today, we're going to look at the SWAC football tiebreaker policy. You know, the two team tie head to head, right? Records are the tie team in the division, head to head competition versus the team in the division with the best overall divisional, non divisional conference record. Overall versus non divisional teams. And what if it's a three or more team tie? For this instance, we're using three or more teams. Once the tie has been reduced to two teams, they go to the two team tiebreaker format. Head to head competition between the two tied teams. The record of the team in the division. Head to head competition versus the team in the division. Overall record versus non divisional teams. Combined record versus all common non divisional teams. Record versus all common non divisional teams with the best overall conference divisional non divisional record. The best differential points between teams with head-to-head -head matchups. And then finally a coin flip. So long story short, the season is not technically over. A lot of people are saying, hey, it's over with. All fam, you got to do is win out. But then people are saying there's a hiccup. There's still more drama to be laid in the East. And all thanks to the SWAC rules. I know you may be saying, Coach, Coach, you're tripping again. Nah, let's think it outside the box. Thinking of a scenario that makes more sense. Yeah, even though I do want Jackson State in the playoffs, I am not ashamed to say that. I want them in the playoffs. There is still a way for them to get to the SWAC championship game. <laughs> and the funny thing is, if they win out, FAMU wins out. Well, FAMU wins every game but Bama State. Bama State wins every game except Jackson State. And they have the identical records. Because of the fact Texas State is a better team than USF, and FAMU plays high school teams in Florida, Jackson State will still be in the, in the Celebration Bowl. But that will give the SWAC an opportunity to have two teams go to the playoffs. So there's still early drama right now. Mainly because the SWAC rules are, are the way they are. We have a chance, people. I know this is early. But this is what I'm looking for for the whole season. And trust me, I'm going to be in Houston when FAMU comes to play te uh, Texas Southern. I don't care if I have broken arm, broken leg, broken neck. They will me out that thing looking like Martin Lawrence on the Martin Lawrence show as he fought Tommy Hearns. I'm going to be there. I want to see if the drama is true. Is FAMU really worth all the complaining about? What do y'all think? Is all this drama early worth it? Which we hand the title of the fam you and counselors.